Hi, today I want to go through the kind of the third part in this video series on teams and assignments within teams and have a look what the marking process looks like now. So I've uh, sent out a few assignments here. Uh, the one that I did in the first video was this one here. It was just called assignment one. So if I just select that now, I can, uh, this the basic setup, I've only assigned it to three students here. If I click on the review tab in the top right there. So I can see who's not turned it in, who's not done it, and who has done it. Um, so I can see these last ones here, these people have done it, all right, these two students here. So uh, let's click on next to this one. Now you remember there was a page in the OneNote that I wanted them to do, and there was a Word document, okay? So here's the Word document, here's Brad's work. So if I go over to the Review tab, I can you know, select a certain part of Brad's work if I want to, and click on New Comment. So I can uh, say, good start. All right, so Brad will be able to see those comments. So I can go through here. Uh, if I want to, I can uh, do all kinds of things. Anything that I want to do to, to review this Word document here. I do have edit rights on it. So I am able to do those things here. I can also open it in Word if I want to, but I like keeping the Word document here within Teams. So I don't have to flit off to other things. So. Um, there's Brad's work and then I can simply, once I'm finished with this, uh, I can go to the rubric as I'm going along here and say for the first one the criteria was good, yep, for criteria one that was good, and enter any feedback that I want to. For the second criteria that was excellent, and for number three that that was fair. Cool. So I can cycle through my rubric here and enter any feedback that I want to down at the bottom there and click on done. Uh, he also, we also had a page in a OneNote so I can go to that. So um, this was that specific page um, that I wanted them to, to put their answer on and you can see it goes straight to that page in OneNote and I'll get all the editing options that I do here in OneNote. So this was Brad's answer to the assignment. So I can now go into um, draw and I can, I can open this in OneNote or I can draw directly on it and give feedback for the student within here uh, by drawing, or I can write on here anything that I like, and the student will be able to see that feedback on there. All right, so based on my rubric results that I gave for this assignment, the student got nine out of 12, and I can click on return as I'm going through the assignments. Brad will then get that assignment back. If I go to the next student, I can see the next student's work on the assignment, and you can see how I go here. I just click on the next one. You can see this was different from the last one. Click on first assignment. That was that page in OneNote. And then I can see Blazer's work on this one, which is a pretty similar response, actually. Um, but I can see those responses to the assignment, OK? so. Uh, Again, I can go through the rubric process there. I also gave out another assignment here. It was this old presentation assignment. Uh, and if I go review for this one here, I can see that I assigned this to all of the people in the class. I can see who's turned it in and who hasn't turned it in. So for those people who have turned it in, if I just select uh, their work, there was two parts of this. There was a speech that they had to do in Word. So similar to the last one, I can go through and I can leave feedback on that um, Word document. Uh, there was an Excel file here where I invited them to fill in a rubric. So I just uploaded an Excel document and I said, can you show me what your, um, where you think you are on this rubric? Okay, so I can see their responses there uh, and now I can actually mark them. So for their organization, I can agree and say, yes, that was excellent. For content, uh, Aaron hasn't done a self-assessment. For subject knowledge, developing and for communication proficient. Okay, so I can finish that and click on done. Based on the marks, that's 12 out of 16 for Aaron. Lastly, when I go back here to the main screen for the assignment, I can see uh, who, how many people have turned it in. I can see I've got zero out of eight to review, all right? So I've done these two here. Um, I've returned those so I can see that. And if I go export to Excel, it will export that to something that looks like this. So we wrote something really simple where I can see the marks that have come out out of 16 and I can see my feedback that I've given as well. So there you go. That's an overview of assignments and the grading process in Teams.